Hi everyone, welcome to my session on distributed builds. Today we are going to learn about what is distributed build, what is a slave machine, how to create it and configure it, and what is configure Jenkins master, Jenkins master, and how to activate the slave node, and finally the summary. Now what is distributed build? It is a very important feature in Jenkins. It allows us to absorb the excess load on single machine that is it lo the the builds can be distributed and across various machines hence the load can be reduced on the master machine and also the same build can be executed on different configurations now how do we create and configure a slave node for that first we need to log in to Jenkins create on manage click on manage Jenkins manage nodes here new node so you will give a node uh, you will give a name of the node here say virtual node 2 node 2 make it as a permanent agent and click OK so this is how you create the virtual node now description is same as now how do we configure this is the configuration so description is same number of executors you can type uh, as 1 2 or 3 and remote root directory is the Jenkins uh, home directory or a di created directory in the slave node the path of the created directory in the slave node so you can just uh, type in here so I have already created a node so I'll show you the configuration of that virtual node 1 so go to configure so virtual node 1 so this is my Ubuntu machine that is Linux PC so I have given the path here and then uh, usage I am I'm saying use as much as possible and I am starting the agent through Java there are various other methods and then I am saying keep agent online as much as possible and uh, for uh, configuring the projects that is to run the projects on the slave node first we need to make the setup of the setup of the project on the slave node so uh, for that uh, the environment variables like Marvin and Java home should be added that can be added here so you can just save it So it's already saved now go to Jenkins so I'll show you how to integrate the virtual box with the Jenkins here for that you'll need to uh, first install virtual box plugin now I'm clicking on configure system that is the cloud should be registered here the virtual box cloud the virtual box should be registered here basically so here virtual box cloud I have given and you need to run these two commands these two commands as you can see these two commands I have I have already run it so these two commands and then you need to see whether uh, after running the uh, localhost 80, 80, 80, 18, URL is running so it's running fine now so just give the URL here and say apply and save so this uh, integrates the Jenkins with the virtual box now next uh, coming to our next topic so Jenkins master so this is configuring Jenkins master I have already finished the topic configuring Jenkins now how do we activate the slave node for this you need to go to the Ubuntu machine 
sorry let me give it a try okay invalid password this takes some time some issue with this okay we'll just restart it see if some caps are on no i'm there are no caps on Okay, let's restart the PC. Power off. Okay, so going to the virtual box quickly. I think there is a bug in it. Just start the virtual box. So this is for activating the slave node. this takes some time it's booting okay prompting for the password So I am launching the Jenkins from the master's uh, from the slave node and I am using a IP here not localhost. Bear me takes some time it's quite slow. So you can log in now. Don't save. So now when you go to this build executor status and see virtual node is not activated. You can see that. So for that you have to first download this agent.jar just copy this control C 
now go to folder level it takes some time please bear with me <laughs> because it's quite slow okay so basically i'm trying to open the terminal in uh, downloads because my agent or jar is downloaded here it takes some time yeah this is so just paste the command which you have yeah so here small change to be made first see it it is local host 8080 so you'll have to give your ip here say 192 168 3 yeah i know you can say enter i has to say it is connected till then till there uh, you need to wait so the protocol is jnlp protocol yeah see it is connected now you can go to your machine in the master see that wrong mark whatever it was deactivated it is gone and it is activated now if you have to see the status you can see it is connected via gnlp thank you guys for watching this session and bearing with me for so long so today's summary is we have discussed about distributed builds configuring the node and uh, slave node and masters uh, machine and uh, finally activating the slave node thank you